<laughs> oh, I knew this would happen. Just started up a new session. What's available? The fucking electric chair, mate. Could have added it onto the other end of the episode. Could have just closed down the game and loaded it back up. It would have been available. Oh, well. Sorry to edge you for that whole episode with no electric chair. <laughs> but you get it straight away now at the beginning. What was his name? I've forgotten his name. But he spent long enough on death row waiting for his electric chair to be prepared. And it is time for the electrocuting. Going to be the new craze in all the states. Now, I think most people would just be happy to see a new style of execution, right? Hanging must get boring. Especially in this part of town, where it seems to be the only method of execution, right? No one's getting hung, drawn and quartered. No, chopping off the heads. Excuse me. Please just stop. Uh, uh. Are you good? You all right? Oh, thank you, Mister. Here, have this for my gratitude. Please. I'm okay. No, it's a fight. What is that? Keep it. You be careful now. Sound and ease breeds sickness. So much for the future. Well, actually, there is a new execution method being happened right now. Are you going? The future has come. Welcome one, welcome do? all to this excellent demonstration of my most marvelous machine, the humane electric ending facilitator. The heath. A chair so powerful, it takes the sinner back to God. Oh, come around, come around, come around. Bring, bring the children to the front. They're about to watch history as this poor unfortunate Mr. Wilson J. McDaniels, mm. guilty of murder, bigamy, an immoral animal husbandry, mm. atones for his sins and future sinners through the warm, peaceful embrace of electricity. Not the savagery of a hanging, or the the brutality of a firing squad. No, 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 no. This is execution the way God intended it. Peacefully, calmly, and cleanly. Do it already. There, our subject is ready. Have you any last words, Mr. McDaniel? Who? Oh. I'm sorry, what did you say? You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this <laughs> <laughs> Existence! <laughs> In incredible! He's still He's here. Nearly dead. <laughs> so humane! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, the people don't like it. He did? Somebody shoot me, please. Can I oblige? Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. No, no shit. I think it's mighty fine. <laughs> I mean, it works for people who need to be tortured. Is he, is he dead? He is dead. They're both dead. Right. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. It's, it's fine. I was checking to see no, if they're dead. I was checking. There's no, no need to worry. I had to see because I don't know how else to see other than seeing a red reticle on the screen. I can't loot them. 
Well, I can do him. Uh, no one's watching. It's probably a bad thing to do, right? But he's a, like a special NPC. He might have something special on him. There you go. So just wait for it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Knew it was coming. <laughs> ah, okay. Where, where's this? Uh, yeah, sure. That's it, is it? It's not very detailed, is it? <laughs> Hello? Hey! Hello? I know you're in there! What's Ooh. the with you? Bang, bang. Someone's at the door. Let them in. Come on out! You coward! Good morning to you. We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife! Oh! Hello. You're a dead man. Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's a good job. It's a good job. <laughs> I was aiming for the head. Why? <laughs> well, know why I did that? Because barbarity is boring, you no? Know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Okay. Sure. So he's got loads of little small ones like that, right? Just following up on all of the stranger missions that I did in the last episode. Right. Favor. It's warm. W, an upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. It, it's like swimming. It takes time. But then it's easy. And the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. I lick. I lick. I lick. Like. Oh. Uh. I like. The soon. Sooner. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I like the summer. Don't worry. You know the letters. You know the sounds. You're nearly there. I got no use for stupid books. I don't have any use for stupid books. <laughs> if you ain't, why are you making us do it? No, you should say, <laughs> I don't have any. Not, I got no. I think you may be confusing things a little now, Brother Dorkins. Notice me. Go over it first in your head. Take your time. Hello? Please notice me. Morning. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh. Howdy. Sir. Brother Dorkins told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. Oh, is this one of the bloody street urchins? They all hurt him. When he stole me bag when I came into town. Find clues. Ah, man has fireflies coming out of his head. You all right? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Uh, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Okay. Well, was that this way? That was very vague. Sort of like a wave. Hello, children. Ooh. Knocked over something. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe what am I doing? <laughs> Uh, hello. Kids. Hey, you. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. No, 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 no. Thanks, mister. Where are you going? Oh, he dropped it. Where is it? Okay. <clears throat> hey. You want some company, mister? No. Oh. You sure? Hey, 
This is Downs? This is Downs? I've come to collect my debt. Get away. <laughs> now. Help. Help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. She's a whore, officer. Arrest her. Wanted off. How did they ever want? No, I guess I have been sort of in the system probably by now, right? Disturbing the peace. I, I was disturbing the peace. Okay, not that way. Uh, can I go through here? Yep. This way? Where do I go? Um, can I go this way? Just make sure I don't climb over the wall. Uh, is he going to come through this gate? No, 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 don't hide there, off are you? Big Dumbo. Well, you're shooting me for disturbing the peace. Oh, this goes nowhere, doesn't it? <laughs> That's too slow. Can't go on the tram. Turn right. I wanted dead or alive. What? No, don't run away. Act normal, guys. You lose them in the cemetery. That'll work. Sorry. Should have moved. Yep, should have moved. <laughs> Who's got a mausoleum for me to hide in? This one? Oh, it's a moonshine. Can I pick that up? No, shut the door. Oh, ghost did it. Thank you. Thank you, ghost. Who's, who's ghost is it? Who lives here? Who say? Jackies. Thank you, Jackies. Or maybe it was Amadi and quite a few people here. Were they, they all the same family? They, oh, that one's blank. It was morbid. It's for the, the other half of the family, I guess. Okay. If I got now, I've got a bounty on me. No. Oh, uh, they're still looking for me. I need to get back without being spotted. Okay, let's turn that on. Excuse you. You are excused. Let's go through the back alleys. Seems I went quite far from where I need to go. Oh, not too bad. I can see the yellow piss puddle. Oh, there's, there's, there's a guard standing in the piss puddle. Uh, what? Hello, miss. Ah. Excuse you. <laughs> You're excused. Uh, uh. Hello. You started right by the entrance, mate. What? Hey, I need to go around the back, but how do I can uh, how can I circle around the back? Okay, let's go this way. What the hell? That guy seems to be moving east. Yeah. Can you tell the popo to get lost, sister, please? Challenge, father. When I was those challenges, you, Mr. Morgan. Excuse me, father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy. He's fine physically, mentally he's a piece of work. But who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is. <sighs> Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. I'm very wonderful. See, father? Praise me more. Give me compliments. Brother Dorkin found him. I so, hello. Howdy. Good morning. Okay, we're fine now. Okay, cool. Thank you. I have to say, life is pretty good. <laughs> oh, hell, there's a there's a bounty post here. Oh no, I have got bounty on me, five dollars. I said, I guess that's not worth their time. Where is it? What is this? Ba 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 ba. Leslie Bedard, forty dollars last seen camping around Bayou. No well. I like these bounties. They're nice. I wish there was more like proper ones in this game, right? But this mod works really well. I think I like it. I like it a lot. Good morning to you. Bip, 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 bip. Stop! Not whistling at you, mate. Will you move? Look how wide the road is. 
Why is he riding on the pavement? Billy? <laughs> Hello. Good boy. 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 Hello. Hello. Good boy. What is the problem? I'll smell you later. No, oh, enough. The swamp people. Okay. Swamp people. Oh shit, there's gonna be alligators in there. Fuck. Yeah. Where, where is the, where are the guys? Guys? There's a random horse. There we go. Wait, where's the random horse in the water? Oh, horse of the marsh. Where is the bounty? Do, do you know? Why is horse? Who, whose horse is this? Are you okay? He's got like a saddle. This must be someone's horse. It's a random tent there. Is that, is that who I want? It's not popping up. So, yeah? Easy now. I think this guy's on his own. Why did I just hear someone screaming in pain? No? I, I thought I heard someone. Okay, we can just roll up to this guy. Big bald. I don't think he's a threat. Hello, sir. Don't whip out a gun. Please, please, don't do it. Now don't make any dumb moves. I'm taking you in, Leslie, okay? Oh. Watch out for the fire. <laughs> I guess I'm going to get some bounty hunters come to me or something, because it's a bit simple, right? I will shoot you! I will! Shut up, you French twat. <laughs> Par pitié, je vous en prie. Oh, now you're pleading? Dear, well, you changed your tune, didn't you? Frog's legs. No, Hi. How you doing? Real good, boy. That's hat. Yes, have you never seen a horse before? Hello. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? What? Are you trying to talk to the enemy? You're coming with me. Is this your French friend? Holy smoke. This is turning into one of them days. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. All right, Le Leslie, I've got a nice cell picked out already. No more fuss, all right? I warned you before. I'm a different man, sir. A good man. There you go, I'll put you on the bed. You know what? That was actually really well placed. Oh my god. What happens if I cut you free now? I feel bad leaving them tied up, right? That's not necessary. Count yourself lucky. Oh, what am I doing? Do you want to shut the cell, Sheriff? All right, we've had enough of your nonsense. Off with yourself. Nice. Cheerio. Wait, right, anything around exactly where I am? There's a mission for Dutch. Could do. Guess. Whether or not. I don't need to do a mission right now. Uh, I could check to see if that fucking vampire's around, mate. Can I? Come on, vampire, is he here? Yes. Okay, we don't need to talk to this guy. Oh, I can't shoot him. Oh, why not? I can Fuck you! <laughs> I've waited a long time to get my revenge on you, mate. Bastard. What you got on you? Stringy meat. Ugh. Oh, I was eating bats. Hey, where's the, where's the dagger? Hey, nice. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You know, I think I've actually done everything i think pretty much in saint denis i think there's much else here that is on offer now other than missions i think i've done all the other collectibles and everything i think there's like one in the theater that i have not done yet which i have to wait into a certain mission to be able to then collect the cards but other than that i've like done them all which is cool because i don't really like saint denis there's a massive pain in my bum but apparently there is a cigarette card it's sort of close to saint denis in here Oh. Easy, easy. Hello. Hello. Can I pinch your cigarette cards, please? Do you mind? You must be real lonely out here, friend. No, I'm not lonely. I have Billy. Hello, sir. So, you hungry? Huh? I got food. Uh, I got food inside. Come on, no. I'm quite full up, actually. But there is a couple of cigarette cards inside, I think. I don't think they're outside, right? What you thinking, partner? No, I can't see them. Okay. Got a leak. Oh, 
Cutscene. Now come here. I did it. Don't you hate old Sonny now? Don't hate him. Huh? What? Oh, you struggled. And you lost. But it was quite a tussle, I tell you. Quite a tussle, my pet. My pet? <laughs> what are you doing? See? Friendship ain't so tough. And neither is you. What's happening? <gasps> Hello? I can hear Billy. Billy? Uh, Have I been robbed again at like the fucking pig farm? Oh my lord. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I lost I lost the dollar. Hair tonic has worn off. All my stats have gone down. Have I like just grown a beard like really quickly there? I'd like down a couple of hair tonics. Try and get my hair to the longest length. What the hell happened there? Why did I lose a dollar? Like I stole one dollar from me? Can I go back? I need the cards. Where am I? Where was it? It was here, wasn't it? Not you again. It's locks the door. Um, just in case. Only one of us walking away from this. Knock knock. I don't want you no more. I think he might have raped my bum hole. You think you're walking What's away that? from this? Well, would you look at this? Oh Lord, no! You're a sad case. Why is this happening? Oh, it's not the consequences of my actions. What do, what do you mean why is this happening? No, no, no. There's no need for that. Why is your head still intact? I just shot you in the head with the sword or shotgun. That's very unsatisfying. I'll take my dollar back now, please. Where's my dollar? So maybe change some people up here as well. I'm more interested in your cigarette cards, mate. Where are they? Ah, okay. Nice. All right, let's go get Jack. You guys ready? There you are. Hello. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Capiche? Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Into the lines, then. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. <laughs> they do. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. 
So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? To be fair, I probably do need a bath. Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we we most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. That's true. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> That's not John. That's Rip Van Winkle. Uh, 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 uh. So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> But, but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Linde, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Have fun, Dutch. Come on, pal. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. Do you know the way? This is idiotic. I've been there before. You know where the cemetery is? <laughs> I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, if we found Bronte, we got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure. The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Take in the elephant rifle, apparently, as always. Well, let's say as always sometimes. Do you think that maybe I can try using it for once? Can you shoot people this mission? I can't remember. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Hmm. Think I see something. You see what? Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Okay, you take the lead then if you see something. How do they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I hid in one of these, they're quite handy. Escaping from the law? I'll go first. You stay close. Okay, and now I take the lead, sure. I can't remember where they are, I wish I did, because I'll just walk directly to them. Can't believe we're doing this. I know, but you won't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook him. I'm gonna check over here. 
There's coffin to the left, but it's enemies going right. Is that where you're going, John? I guess. Is it? Looks like it. Okay. I'll go to the piss puddle. Hello, dog. Why are you barking? When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. Hey pleasure. there, boy. What you doing? Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. Oh, I hear a noise. This way, John. Hello? Yep, okay. Get in cover. Hey, John. You boys found my puppies watching. Yeah. Oh. What the hell? Let's set up. Damn it. How many you Let's fail, boys. This ain't worth it. Look out. They're making a run for it. That's John. You careful. They're leading us out in the open. I thought the guy was here. Where did he go? Can rob us. Oh. Please, God. Mate, come back. No doubt. Got an elephant rifle, you. Where did he go? You picked the right place to die, all right. What the hell? I can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. Oh, this gun sucks. This gun sucks. Why did I buy this gun? <laughs> I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time Dutch can go. Well, what the fuck? Am I imagining these people? I think we got one left. Let's smoke him out. Oh, behind sure me. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Just keep your head down. Oh, hello. <laughs> What the hell? You trying to knife me? All right. Now let's find their stash. Got to be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. Uh, it's the opposite <sighs> side. Robbing grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Uh, it's in here, I think. I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Mm -mm. It's locked. Mm-hmm. We'll have to go back the way we came. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Okay, stop trying the door, John. It's not working. Let's go around the side. I'm on your bum. I'm on your six. Coming this way. Get down. I found a body. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Who's this fucking forensics man? It's just a pleb. How's you know that sort of stuff? Okay, John. Let's go. Stay close. Right behind you. Okay, maybe I don't need to be crouching. He's not bloody doing it. Coast clear? They have to be here somewhere. You try the left, and I'll go straight ahead. Are we good? Man, that guy really likes blowing that whistle, didn't he? Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, it's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Huh? Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. 
Like I said, we should see where we're at once we got Jack. Hello. We are back. Did you kill Dutch? No? Nah. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. Oh, I think we actually head to camp. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Look, Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. Ooh. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Sounds exciting. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. This is the first time I've been back to Shady Bell, right? Since we first arrived. It's been a while. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, <laughs> cavallo? That means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Hey, Micah has joined us. <laughs> you had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! Yay! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! <laughs> I'm fine, Mama! He didn't like that. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. Well, of course, ma'am. Didn't say thank you to John, though, did she? <laughs> I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... I don't know how to say it. I love you too. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. I also got some money out there as well. What? He's back, all right. Good to have you back, kid. We missed you. 
Hey, how about a song, huh? Oh, yeah. Javier, <laughs> play us away. <laughs> de la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito This is lindo nice. de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que ha. Everyone just knows the chorus. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Except it's me, for some reason I can't join in. Bravo. You did All that. Right. <laughs> Let's give this boy a bit of space. See you later. Good to have you back, Jackie. We All right, Jack. Welcome back, Jack. Hey. How you doing? Hi. Come on. How about another one? Let me get you something. Yo soy como Can el coyotito que los revuelco y los dejo y me voy al trocito. I'm very relieved. We all are. Yeah. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Well, I'll let you fine folks get reacquainted. How are you? Hey. Hello, Arthur. How's it all going? As well as can be expected. I can't actually recruit Jose to go out. I didn't realize I could do him. It's cool. Can't talk to Jack. You really know your nice close. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Yep. I always have faith, Dutch. Okay. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, then. Damn, that's a big old bowl of food for a child, isn't it? <laughs> I feel like I can breathe again. Ah, no. Thank you, John. I'm sorry if I was... Well, I was just worried sick. I know. It's okay. Eat that all up now, Jack. Okay, Mama. Sorry it ain't spaghetti. Get some drinks down, you. Live a little. I might have a couple. This is a party. Come so she's sort of Jack. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right. Poor and bastard. By some hill country sheriff stealing a chicken, I think it was. And he decided I was going to be hanged for it. For a chicken? Yes. Only some folks thought it was unfair. <laughs> and at the hanging, there was a riot. They went to lynch me. Uh, but uh, someone I never saw, he shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. <clears throat> and I got away with nothing more than a sore neck. <laughs> well, was you scared? <laughs> Absolutely petrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. <laughs> Why was that funny? <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Save your legs. You'll need them. God, I'm really awkward, aren't I? Oh, well, 
Yeah, I was about to say that. At least you are self-aware. That's it. See it for what the hell it is. Everyone else has just left. <laughs> just Lenny and Charles. Do you like these two people? Well, I didn't think you did. On board the Heartland stage, we're pulling all about the seats. His bed was new about the sheets. Started as a thieving lad in 1849. Opposition laid it fast. People must be hard or die. The crowd in here was smelly, man. It's fat and hot. Her in a pan. Oh, man. Misty plug tobacco smoke. With dresses in tobacco spit. But talk on politics and swear. There's a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so the people must root all go die. Walking on behind me, your shoulders look up cold. Help me out, somebody hold. They promise when you're pale, you hey. pay. You'll have to walk only half the way. Hey, with a cunning laugh, you'll have to push the other half. Started as a thieving line in 1849. All opposition laid it fast, so people must do all the time. Woo! Very good. Chobbly Paradise over there, wasn't there? I never quite realised how much they argued. Impressive. Don't say it, Reverend. There he is, old Arthur. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece of shit. God damn you. <clears throat> Take it easy, Miss Karen. They're quite aware of words there, Arthur, right? All right, well, I should be getting on. See? Okay, Arthur. See? what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. Amen. We had uh -oh. faith. Hello. Hello. And we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends, my loved ones, a plan it is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place and we are gonna find our own paradise, our own heaven. Tahiti, <coughs> Fiji, Australia, the real new world. 
not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free! It's foreshadowing, isn't it? Free. Is that scripted to happen? That's amazing, if not. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch. Don't mind me, Dutch. All the places you can walk, he just walks straight into me. There he is. Arthur Morgan. How are you doing? See, I couldn't be happier. Alright. All day long on the prairies I ride. Not Me. even a dog to trot by my side. A fire I kindle, cowships around. The coffee I boil without being ground. I wash mm -hmm. in a pool and a wipe on the sack. I carry my wardrobe all on my back. For one of an oven, I cook bread in a pot. And I sleep on the ground for one of a cot. <coughs> my ceiling's the sky, my floor is the grass. My music's the lowering of my shiny white ass. My books are guns, my sermons the stones. My parson's a wolf on his pulpit of bones. I sometimes, sometimes I rob a bank on Main Street. Birds, you, you can't blame me for wanting to eat. But show me a man that mm -hmm. sleeps more profound mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. big old Uncle lying out <laughs> on the ground. And the newspapers <laughs> call for our gang's demise. Says, says we're no, no good, good thieves that you should despise. <laughs> A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones. Fortune favors those who look out for their own. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The party dying down. What's time? 3 a.m. Is that getting closer or not? It's no rain. I know the problem with you, Pearson, is that you're just a goddamn drunk. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Sure is. But the problem with you, Williamson, is that you're all talk. Well, you deserved that, really, didn't you? All talk, huh? Walked into that one. <laughs> and what are you looking at? Not much. You want to try it, Bill? Go on, try it. Now nah, you know you'll lose. Good times, Pearson. <laughs> uh-huh. I think we're gonna be okay, Mr. Morgan. Everyone's favorite uncle. Woo, Arthur! You think we should get inside? Our thanks. Damn well, if I do say so. Mm-hmm. Start the rain's just time. Took a while. It's very ominous, right? Damn, son. If uh, an English teacher was to um, evaluate the story right now, they'd be having a fucking wank. Storm starting as soon as Dutch does his speech. <laughs> Get to bed. There's still drinks available, so the party's still going on. Maybe it's now inside. We should move the party inside, would be a good idea. Is anyone awake inside? I don't look like it. You okay? Hello, Arthur. How are you? Is being? You know me? Good. People just sleeping on the floor. Hey, get up. Oh, I've just woke him up, I'm sorry. This is your bedroom. Ah, it's not. I'm so sorry, just woke him up for no reason. Come on, Strauss, we're celebrating. I'm very happy to see young Jack again. Well, smile then. 
Okay, well, let's talk more later. Be well. Hmm. Is the party finished or not? So people are talking outside, I guess, are they? Is she awake? Poor people sleeping outside in tents. I know, I don't think they are. I think they have gone in. These absolute mad lads carried on the party in this fucking monsoon. <laughs> it was just Pearson. Oh. A saucy duet. Goodbye. 